What is up guys, Steve or Scotch and Things. This is gonna be a little bit of a different video today. I'm gonna to take you to a job site maybe, real quick. We'll get the, the, the preamble out of the way. A couple weeks ago, I got a call from Ohio and I thought it was a scam call, but he left a message wanting a bin torn down. And I was like, what the hell? Like we travel surrounding states, but Ohio, so I gave him a call and turns out he bought a bin here in York, central Nebraska, where we're from. And somehow he got my name and he wants it torn down. Just a little bin, I'm gonna show you here in a second. I gotta try and figure out how to get to it. A little nine ring 36. So I shot him a price and he's like, ooh, that's kind of expensive. I said, that's what it cost, I mean, we do, I said that you're getting a little bit of a discount because I just put up a brand new bin that size and I don't know how to get to it. I, I know where it's at. Hold on. Um, and you're actually getting a little bit of a discount. And he's like, oh, all right, I'm going to see if I can find someone cheaper. <laughs> it's like, all right, good luck. And two weeks go by and I get a call back from him and he wants me to tear it down and wants me to then you know well i mean coming from ohio let's just talk about this first even if he got this bin for free the time to drive from ohio and then drag this thing back and then oh there it is and then i don't know how to get to it though it's out in the middle of nowhere is that a road there um and then drag it back and have it rebuilt so we're talking again today and he doesn't know exactly where the bin's at. So finally I'm like, well, I need a location because I don't want to find something and get, tear down the wrong bin. Oh, fucking A. One, I'm like, is the power off of this bin? I don't know. And then he tells me there's a auger running from one bin to the next bin. I'm like, well, that's going to be more money to take that down. He's like, what? I'm like, yeah, I shot you a price for tearing a bin now, not for aerial work. Um, so now I'm coming to check it out, and he doesn't know how to... He's like, well, I'm going to need you to pallet... I'm like, yeah, okay, fine, we'll put everything on pallets, and we number everything, and... Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, it's an older bin. You know, and then we're talking about the floor, and I'm like, how are you going to transport this back? How big is your trailer? Because the roof sheets, you know, the, the sidewall sheets stack up pretty nice, and they're easy to transport. But then the roof sheets, you know, they take up some room because um, they're long, and then he's deciding if he wants the floor or not. I'm going to see if the floor is any good. But he's, uh, I mean, the floors, I said, they don't come out the way they go in. The way they, they're shipped to us, they're, the floor planks are kind of, slotted inside of each other in a nice square oh, god damn what do i get myself into Ooh, is that broken up there is that a we're gonna take a look it's gonna it's kind of windy out so bear with me but and hopefully you'll be able to see it i don't know if i can switch this around while i'm filming probably not maybe i'll i'll, I'll do some editing magic all right guys i'm back so here's the bin and he wants it torn down. Got a couple transitions. But the problem is, this stupid auger right here that goes from one bin up there. That's a lot of work to get one of those down. I hope my, tel my telehandler might reach it. I can probably hook on the metal and use rope, but it's actually going into that bin. So at the end of the day, I'm trying to figure out how much he paid for this. Not that it matters, but what is your time worth coming from Ohio to the middle of Nebraska for a used bin? I'm sure he could have found a used bin in Ohio. Crazy old look inside here. Side 
floor looks actually pretty good, but it's not going to stack well. I'm going to climb in there, but you guys aren't going to be able to walk around, take a look at the bench, see the kind of shape it's in. The problem is they've screwed the floor in, so that's always a pain in the ass. It doesn't look too rusty. It actually looks in pretty good shape for an older bin. This is exciting for you guys. Sorry again for the wind noise. Okay, so we got power still connected. I'm trying to see if the power is actually live. See, this is all shit we don't deal with. But yeah, it looks like that. So here you go, inside of an old bin. And actually, it's in really good shape. The floor is obviously newer. That's why they've screwed those in. And the supports are nice. I can see through the light there, the kind of support we call them a V support real nice and sturdy so yeah this looks like a nice solid bin shouldn't be too hard to tear down I'm just kind of walking on the floor to see if I see any spongy spots where it's you know, little issues like some corrosion there those will fight us coming down but uh, yeah Um, yeah, I'm going to take some pictures for him and send them to him and we'll try and figure something out. But at the end of the day, if he's not okay with my price, he can find someone else because, one, well, I'm not going to work for free. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.